wonderful way. Call the Hartford at 1-800-683-7102 to request your free quote. That's 1-800-683-7102. Or go to GetHartfordAuto.com today. Get this free calculator just for requesting a quote. Mark and Mindy, today at 5 Eastern on... Antenna TV! Uh-huh, okay, you'll be here this morning to pick it up. Fine, bye-bye. Alex, what in the world made you sign for that cake? It's a wedding cake. Barbara and Mark are getting married, remember? Tomorrow. That's when it was supposed to be delivered. To the reception. Fresh. It's the wrong day, the wrong place, and it's the wrong cake. <laughs> well, how would I know? A wedding cake is a wedding cake. <laughs> It's all right, Alex. I'm not angry. <laughs> Let me pull there for a minute. It's just that I don't want Barbara to get upset by all these little details. Right. In other words, hide the cake. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, if this had happened to me, there would have been an Annie-shaped hole in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> uh, good morning, uh, darling. Hi. Everything... All right? Everything's terrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just stay cool. <laughs> Why? Something's wrong. I can tell. What is that? What is that? Uh... <laughs> what do you know? A birthday cake. <laughs> it's a wedding cake. Oh, what a relief. She's handling it great. I'll see you guys later. Mom. Uh, darling, take it easy. Come on. Now, the bakery's picking it up. It's all taken care of. Relax. I want you to enjoy yourself. I can't enjoy myself. I'm getting married. Honey. <laughs> a wedding is a complicated, elaborate event, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Why? Because it keeps the mother occupied. <laughs> and helps her forget that her baby daughter's getting married. It's gonna be okay, sweetie. Lights, action, camera! <laughs> Lights, action! Do, you're not doing it! Do something! Shana, what are you doing? Uh, Miss Romano, I have secured for this momentous weekend a deluxe model 1750A full-color video camera with unidirectional accessory mic. Shana, we're trying to get ready for a wedding. Yeah, but that's what I want to capture for posterity. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. These are the sights and sounds of a wedding. A story as old as time, or as fresh as tomorrow. And tomorrow, this fresh face we see in front of us won't be quite as fresh, but what are you gonna do with those the bricks? Schneider, you're gonna videotape everything? The getting ready, the reception, the wedding, everything? Yeah. That's a terrific idea, thank you. <laughs> Well, I mean, have you ever thought about all the things you've done for me over the years? The uh, unforgettable moments, the laughter, the fun, memories? The trouble, the worries. I remember when I first started dating, you would wait up until that car drove up. Me? Nah. Oh? Then why did the lights always start to blink outside the building? Well, <laughs> not always. Uh, just for those vans with the one-way glass. <laughs> you know... In the third grade, I asked Sister Raphael what a guardian angel looked like. She never mentioned a tattoo and a tool belt. <laughs> Guess our little girl is leaving the nest. It's just you and me now. Yeah. <laughs> the old folks at home. Oh, damn. Was it something that I said? I think so. Okay, coming. Hi. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm okay. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, you got the camera. That's great. Where's Barb? In the bedroom. Uh, Mark, I think it might be a good idea if you went in there and told her that you loved her. She knows I love her. Tell her, Mark. And when you're married, write it on your box of post toasties, print it on the mirror with soap. Never stop telling her. <laughs> Don't panic, it's been handled. <laughs> uh, 
Hi. I was in the neighborhood. I thought maybe we could get together sometime. <laughs> maybe. How about tomorrow? Sounds good. Say, uh, 12 o'clock? On the altar at St. Agnes, okay? You got it. Have you been crying? Well... Mm, maybe that's why I'm supposed to tell you I love you. Oh, Mom's idea? Mm-hmm. Okay, tell me. I love you. <laughs> that was hers. This is mine. I love you. <laughs> now I bite you. <laughs> I wonder if it's true. What? That the woman thinks only about the wedding and the man thinks only about the honeymoon. It's true. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> You have been crying. Oh, yeah, a little. Yeah. I'm giggling a lot, too. I, Mark, I swore to myself I wouldn't be the typical bride, and then just when I think I have my sanity, my palms start to sweat, and I get hysterical because I can't find this open. Aren't you nervous? Well, men don't get nervous. We just get catatonic. <laughs> yeah, nervous is for women. You know why it's for women? Why? Because all the man has to do is show up. Oh, no, that's not true. The man walks four feet with the best man and just stands there. The woman has to walk down a 30-mile aisle on the arm of a nervous father while every eye in the place is on her. She hopes she doesn't trip over her high heels or that her underwear doesn't fall on the floor. You've been married before. I'm just having nightmares about things going wrong. Oh. I mean, your father isn't even going to be at the wedding. Well, the fact that he's in traction in a hospital in Europe may have something to do with that. Believe me, honey, he wants to be here as much as I want to be here. What kind of crack is that? <laughs> honey, why are you putting yourself through all this? Why didn't we just get married by a clerk or something? Mark, because this is the most wonderful moment in a woman's life. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, it's all gonna be fine, you'll see. Is there anything you want me to do? I'll just cancel the tournament. What? That golf tournament's today? Yeah, I tee off in half an hour, unless you need me. <laughs> no, darling, it's okay. I'm fine now. As everyone keeps saying, there's nothing to worry about. That's right. Oh, I'll see you at seven. Okay. Mm. Bye. Bye. Oh, about tomorrow, just wear suspenders. Huh? Keep your underwear from falling down. Get out. <laughs> well, that does it. According to the measurements that Julie sent, this should be perfect. Oh, she's going to be a beautiful matron of honor. Just beautiful and huge. Just like Julie, right, Catherine? Coming out pregnant just before her sister's wedding? Yeah, I'm only thankful she didn't come up pregnant before her own. <laughs> oh, help me get out of this rig, will you? Oh, oh, hey. hey, Dwayne. You too, huh? <laughs> Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> well, we're either going to have to get longer arms or one of us is going to have to have a baby. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, hey there she is. Oh, you look terrific. Hi. So do you. Where's Mom? She's out taking care of something I'm not supposed to worry about. Well, she probably doesn't want another goofed up wedding like mine. What are you talking about goofed up? You went to the altar with the groom and you married the best man. That's normal. <laughs> Max, do you ever hear from that other man? Fred? Uh-huh. Absolutely. Every year on our wedding anniversary, he sends me a thank you note. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, if I can get Schneider to give up this dress, you want to try it on? Oh, uh, would you mind if I did that a little later? I'm kind of tired. Sure, honey. Come on, kid. We'll go lie down in your Annie Barber's room. <laughs> Tell you, she looks, looks like she's ready to have that baby right now. What? Oh, <laughs> I'm only kidding you. I mean, but by the same token, I don't think she should ride any more pogo sticks. <laughs> it's only 24 hours until my wedding. <laughs> It'd be just like Julie to go into labor now. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Barb. We're taking a prepared childbirth class, and we're not due to finish it for another three weeks. <laughs> what does that prove? Well, it only proves that nobody thinks the baby's going to be due until about... Ah! Oh, Julie! Julie! Get in there, Max! Get in there! Nobody likes it when their calls aren't returned, or they can't get a human being on the phone. It happens with the cable company, the credit card company, even law firms, but not at Chase and Boscolo. If you've been injured, we know you can't afford to wait for answers, so we'll treat you the way we want to be treated, with courtesy and respect. Why? Because we're lawyers that care.
If you've been injured, call Chase and Boscolo. 1-800-728-5898. that thief that steals away your quality of life. Finally, real answers. Dr. M. Scott White, DC of New Life Laser announces a new revolutionary laser therapy offering dramatic relief from chronic pain. The deep tissue laser is the most extraordinary device I've seen in over 30 years of practice. Sometimes patients even find relief after the very first treatment, even after other therapies have failed. And the most exciting part is that we're helping people eliminate their pain without the need for needles, drugs, or surgery. We're so sure this will work that we're offering two free laser treatments. We're treating patients with everything from herniated discs, bulging discs, failed back surgery, osteoarthritis, degenerative disc disease, spinal stenosis, and even neuropathy. And unlike surgical procedures that can require weeks of recovery and rehab, the laser is completely non-invasive. There is no discomfort or downtime at all. The laser works by penetrating deep into the body to cause new healthy cell growth. It decreases scar tissue, reduces inflammation, and increases blood flow, which helps to speed up the healing process. Call 844-PAIN-FREE in the next 30 minutes to receive your two free laser treatments. You have nothing to lose but your pain. Call 844-PAIN-FREE. I've had COPD for years, which meant using an inhaler several times a day. But then I discovered something better, 12-hour medication through a portable nebulizer. I only need it twice a day. Med for Home, the specialty pharmacy, now offers long-acting respiratory medications through a portable nebulizer. If you have a chronic breathing condition, call Med for Home to find out more. Independent studies have shown a nebulizer may be more effective and easier to use than just an inhaler. And 12-hour medication means using it only two times a day. No interruptions to my day. Also, if you're enrolled in Medicare, your nebulizer and medications may be covered by Part B and supplemental insurance. That could mean little or even no cost to you. Med for Home will contact your doctor, handle the paperwork, and ship to your door at no extra cost. 12-hour medication. A better choice for me at a better price. Call Med for Home today to learn more. 800-207-0645. It can happen in an instant. Your dad doesn't feel right, but he's not sure he should call 911. With new five-star urgent response, one touch, and he'll be immediately connected to five-star agents. I see your location, Mr. Turner. Five-star urgent response. It's help at the touch of a button. An ambulance is on its way. <laughs> Buy the splash today at Walmart Pharmacy and get the first month free. Learn more at greatcall.com. Family Ties, weeknights at 10 Eastern on... Antenna TV. Charles Nelson Wright, Gary Shandling, Johnny Carson, tonight 11 Eastern. Oh! Is it a contraction? Oh, Julie! Oh. Do we have to call a doctor? Was it a big, sharp pain? Oh, it was the worst, Grandma. Oh. Oh. Boil some water, rip some sheets. Pick a name. <laughs> Just relax, honey. Breathe normally. Where's the pain? My toe! <laughs> A breech birth. What? Do you do what? Well, I took off my shoes and I kicked something under the bed. Hmm? Ugh. <laughs> Building up your pecs, Barb? <laughs> It must be Alex. He can't wait to move into my room. Come on, come on, get out. Out, right, right. you two, get out. Now, Julie honey. needs a rest. No, no, no come on, out, okay. out. And Schneider, I don't want any more smart remarks from you. You make it. I sing fundamental the things. Man is oh, out. I talk You're scholarly. Out, out. <laughs> Do you know we almost sent you and your big toe to the delivery room just now? The delivery room? Barb, I'm not due for seven weeks. You sure? Yeah. I'm going the distance, believe me. <laughs> Besides, I couldn't do that to you. Tomorrow is your day, and Mark's day, nobody else's. Yeah, well, you know me, always overreacting. I'm just, uh, I'm scared. Join the crowd. Not you. Me? Julie, I'm gonna be a wife. I'm gonna be a mother. <sighs> do you remember when we were young? Yeah, 22 years old. Where did it all go? <laughs> We're women. Oh. <laughs> it's funny 
thing, you know, but I don't feel any different. Yeah, well, speak for yourself. <laughs> Do you remember we used to spend hours in here talking and arguing? <laughs> right here in this old room. Oh, that's a great old room. It's home. Tutu Bear! <laughs> I kept him for you. Yeah, you probably because you always felt guilty about pulling his little arms off. I never pulled his arms off. Once, maybe. Mm. Actually, I just held his arms and you pulled his body off. <laughs> oh, it's funny, isn't it, Barb? It doesn't really seem to matter anymore. I love you, kid. Julie, I love you. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Well, I'm willing, but he is wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so long, old room. So long, Tutu Bear. So long, childhood. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's a very nice opening. Yeah, we like it. We call it our door. <laughs> No, no, I'm planning on opening this particular sequence with the entrance of the loved ones. The loved ones? We're talking about a wedding, not a funeral. Yeah, well, you obviously never went to my wedding. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. must hey. be one of the loved ones. Hey. 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 Hi. Not quite one of the ex-loved ones. <laughs> Barbara, your dad's here. Uh -huh. No, 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 Eddie, please, not yet. I'm not quite ready. <laughs> Not a shrewd move, Schneider. I, where's Daddy? Uh, Out in the hall, building up a head of steam. Let him in, let him in now. Where is he? I'll kill him. Hi, Hi Daddy. Daddy. Oh. Oh, talk about a beautiful bride. Oh. Thanks. I want to tell you, Ed, I'm uh, very, very happy for you. Oh, thanks. I'd hate to think that you'd miss the weddings of both your daughters. Ah, uh, Schneider. Julie's wedding was very sudden. I had a business trip in Europe. It's okay, big guy. I was there. I covered it. <laughs> Look, Schneider's gonna tape everything. Oh, terrific. I hope he starts with his mouth. Ed. Uh, this might be a good time for me to do some exteriors. Terrific idea. Uh, uh, allow me. Looking really good, Big Ed. Ed, for once, just let it go, okay? Uh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. For once? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant just don't start anything for a change. <laughs> uh, for a change? Oh, thank you. Old <laughs> habits die hard. Look, Ed, you know that Mark's father is not going to be here tonight. By so, the way, how much money does our future son-in-law make a year? So, Mark's mother is bringing her boyfriend instead. What Mark makes a year is not the issue. That is the issue. How much does he make? Look, he is a dental student. He is putting himself through dental school. He's got a profession. The boy has a future. In other words, he doesn't make a dime. Hi, Mom. Uh, uh, Dad, look, uh, may I speak to you a minute about the way you feel? People, people, you're stepping in my shot. <laughs> I bet you're looking for the Romano apartment. Oh, yes. I'm Mark's mother. The Royers. I can't tell you how much we think of Mark around here. We? You mean? Couldn't love him more if he was my own son. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Barbara really made a great choice here. I guess we're going to be seeing a lot of each other, huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question now, Marge. Uh, doesn't Sam here talk at all? <laughs> My husband and I are divorced. And part of the settlement is that he can't talk? <laughs> No, no, this is my friend. I'm Charles Tilson. Oh, hi there. Hey, good for you, Marge. Going out and grabbing a guy like this while you're on the rebound? <laughs> Let me tell you, you're really going to love Barbara's mom and dad. <laughs> you mean you're not Ed? No, no, no. I'm Dwayne Schneider. I'm the building superintendent. So nice to meet you, Dwayne. <laughs> Folks, I'm trying to shoot a thing here. Please, let's give me a nice, no, fresh dog. Oh, just a a pay a nice a... Money is just too important to you, Ed. That's all I'm saying. Don't ask me how much a man makes. Ask me if he's a nice man. Don't ask me how much the orchestra I hired for the wedding costs. Ask me if it's a good orchestra. How many men? Don't... What? 
In the orchestra. I'm splitting the course down the middle, right? How many men? Seven. Three for you and four for me. You see, the union wouldn't let me cut the trumpet player in half. <laughs> Oh, you missed your calling, Ann. You know, you should have rent a classroom and give snide lessons. You'd make a fortune. I'm sorry. You know, Ed, I'm really, really very sorry. It just so happens I'm a little nervous. If you hadn't noticed, our youngest daughter is getting married. I noticed. <laughs> I see where you learned how to cook. Look. Our daughter is going to be the loveliest bride this town has ever seen. I'm, you know, I want to give you credit. I think you've done a hell of a job raising the girls. And I wanted to tell you that, but as soon as I was about to tell you, you turned vicious. Thank you, Ed. That's the nicest thing you've ever scowled at me. Now, if you could just learn to speak without that sneer in your voice, maybe people would learn to accept your compliments. And you must be Mark's mother. Yes, you must be Anne. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Charles Tilson. Charles Tilson. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Charles Tilson. Ed, would, would you go back and give me a little bit more of the argument? I got everything up to vicious, and then it got to money. Would you excuse us, Schneider, please? Uh, Mr. Romano, say that one more time. Your lips were out of focus. Would you excuse us, Schneider? Oh, please? that's great! I'm real sorry. I, I really am. Mom, why don't you come over here and, and meet uh, Mark's mother? Oh, uh, yes, Mark. Roy, this is Jello. <laughs> Uh, well, we have just been so anxious to meet you, uh, Marge. Yes, I have been, too. And, and Mark's been raving about Barbara. Oh, well, I'd like you to meet my daughter. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is my other daughter, oh. Julie. Oh. Well, nice to meet you. Oh, you this is Barbara. This is Royer. It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> so, you're Barbara. Yeah. Oh, Mark was right. Isn't she lovely, Charles? And a beautiful face. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they gave it to me. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. I'll tell you, Francine, uh, why don't you go on out and come back in again? And this time, give me a little twinkly, a little tinkly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Here you go. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. All right, folks, uh, don't mind me. Just uh, mill around. Uh, uh, Barbara, why don't you introduce Francine here to your guest? Ed, try to look happy. Your daughter's getting married. Daddy, Daddy. Uh, Francine, hello, so Barbara. nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is Mark's mother hello. and her friend. Hello. And of course, I think you know my daddy and Julie and mom and grandma. This is my mother's business associate. Well, how do you all do? I'm, I'm terribly sorry that I can't stay. Of course you can, Francine. Take off your coat. Oh, I really do love weddings. I, I don't know why I haven't tried it myself. I, I would look terrific in white. <laughs> Off white. Oh, is this the Romano apartment? Oh, yes, it is. Please come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I noticed you on the elevator. I had no idea you were coming here. Well, I had a little difficulty in finding apartment 402. Oh. Well, this could be an interesting evening. I'm Francine Webster. Oh, hello. I'm Father Latwell. <laughs> Come and meet uh, Father oh, Latwell, yes. uh, huh? Oh, yes. Hi. I'm, 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 I'm Mom! Now! Uh, uh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, so, but thank you. Yes, Mom, darling, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm, no, really, I'm fine. One more day, and this will all be over. Hey, guess what? Oh, Mark! Oh, Mark! Oh. Oh. Now, that's the way a wife should greet her husband. Yeah. It's so nice to see you. Oh, God. Oh, you too. Mark? Mama, how are you? Oh. Oh. I'm so glad you got here. Hi, Charles. Yeah, congratulations, Mark. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> so, Mark, how'd the uh, tournament go? Terrific. He's five under par, four shots behind the leaders. He played fantastic. Yeah, tomorrow he's just gonna tomorrow? be so... Uh-oh. Did I say something wrong? No, no, it's fine. I have a very early tee-off time. Win, lose, or draw at 10.30 a.m. I go home, take a shower, get dressed. I have this wedding to go to. <laughs> <laughs> a moment. <laughs> uh, how about 
more champagne. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much for tearing yourself away from your golf game to come to my wedding. Oh, now, honey, take it easy. I'm not supposed to see you before the wedding, right? That's your superstition, not mine. So what's wrong with killing a little time before the... Killing a little time? Yeah, I knew that was wrong the minute I said that. <laughs> honey, I'm nervous, too. If I play golf, I, I won't have a chance to think about it. Besides, this morning, you didn't mind at all. This morning was this morning. Mark, tomorrow is my wedding day. I don't want you playing golf. You could, you could get hit by a golf ball. You could trip over a divot. You could, you could fall in a sand trap. You could, you could get golfers hip and have to crawl up the aisle. Golfers hip? What if you fell in a water hole and, and, and got pneumonia on our honeymoon? Oh, honey, you're not making any sense. You're damn right I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just change the subject, okay? How'd you like my mom? I love her. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Oh, well, that goes double. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> understanding what? About the golf. You're still gonna play? Yeah. Mark, if you went to a funeral, would you tap dance on the coffin? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a parallel? Well, that's the way I feel. You're taking my day and you're just throwing it away. Your day? I'm warning you, Mark, don't tap dance on my coffin. <laughs> and I am warning you, Barbara, I do not operate well under an ultimatum. You, you keep saying your day, your wedding. You know, it's mine, too. Okay, I'm sorry. And I will love you just what? as much if I play golf or I spend the morning worrying and counting my toes oh, in a corner. Please. You're making the ceremony more important than the marriage. I'm not. Yes, and you're making a, a damn fool of you. <coughs> <laughs> so now a toast to our daughter and your son. <laughs> Tune in next week for the conclusion of The Perfect Wedding. Americans age 50 to 85, what's your reason for getting life insurance? I'm in my 60s, and I work part-time with no benefits. I needed a plan that was easy to get. All I had to do was make a phone call. At age 70, I'm on a fixed income. I found a whole life insurance plan that's affordable with a lifetime rate lock, so my monthly payment will never increase. All this by making a phone call. I don't like taking risks now that I'm almost 80. I made a phone call and found a plan that has written guarantees. In the last month alone, thousands have called about this plan with the rate lock guarantee through the Colonial Pen Program. And here's why. This plan is affordable with coverage options for just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in and can never go up. And your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your health. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. You'll also get a free gift with great information if you're retired or will be soon. So don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Call if you're in your 60s for a plan that's easy to get. If you're in your 70s, call for a plan that's affordable. And if you're almost 80, like me, call for a plan that guarantees your acceptance. Don't wait. Call today. Call 1-800-664-1119 now for your free information and free gift. 
There's no risk and no obligation. That number again is 1-800-664-1119. Call toll-free or visit us at colonialpen.com. That's 1-800-664-1119. Don't wait. Call or click now. Tonight on Johnny Carson. Charles Nelson Riley is here. Gary Shandling. Johnny Carson, tonight, 11 Eastern, on Antenna TV. Here are some scenes from last week's show. I can't enjoy myself. I'm getting married, honey. <laughs> a wedding is a complicated, elaborate event, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Why? Because it keeps the mother occupied. <laughs> and helps her forget that her baby daughter's getting married. I have a very early tee-off time. Win, lose, or draw at 10.30 a.m. I go home, take a shower, get dressed. I have this wedding to go to. <laughs> Mark, can I see you for a moment? And I will love you just what? as much if I play golf or I spend the morning worrying and counting my toes oh, in a corner. Please. You're making the ceremony more important than the marriage. I'm not. Yes, and you're making a, a damn fool of you. So now the toast to our daughter and your son. And now for the conclusion of The Perfect Wedding. Oh, Ed, what time is it? Uh, close to midnight. Where are they? <laughs> you know what we're doing, don't you? We are sitting around worrying about two adults. I mean, they're getting married tomorrow. I hope. <laughs> oh, I wish Mark's father weren't in the hospital. I mean, I don't like the man very much. But there was always some small comfort in having him tell me that something like this was all my fault. Oh. <laughs> what a terrific opportunity. The reconciliation scene. Oh, oh honey, oh, you are right? Yes, fine, fine. Okay? All right, folks, this is nice, but, uh, but give me some margin. Uh, give me a smile. Show me some teeth. And get that nitwit out of here. Schneider. Look, I was trying to find out what happened. Well, I'm not going to tell you, because you call me a nitwit. <laughs> We don't want to hear it from you. We want to hear it from them. Daddy, I just went up to the roof to think. And I went down the street to look for her. Then an inspiration struck me from above. Actually, Barbara threw a pebble at me from the roof. <laughs> Nitwit, huh? You think you can operate this? Good. Find a focus. And Show me where to focus. I'm deadly serious. If this man isn't out of here in 30 seconds, I'm going to shove that zoom lens up his nose. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> I want to tell you something, Cooper. Unless you completely change this hostile attitude that you have, you ain't getting one close-up tomorrow at the maybe one-way shot, but that's about it. <laughs> now, did we get the golf thing straightened out? Yes. And? No and, just yes. Then it's all straightened out. Yes. You mean you are going to play tomorrow? I don't know. I might not. <laughs> then again, he might. Oh, gee, I'm glad we straightened that out. And, uh, see, Daddy, the truth is, I don't want to know. We decided if we talked about it, we'd fight. If we didn't talk about it, we wouldn't fight. We don't want to fight, so we're not going to talk about it. A form of self-deception, I taught her myself. I recognize it. <laughs> but you are getting married. Yes, of course. We'll fight after the wedding. After the honeymoon? Maybe. <laughs> Glad that's all settled. <laughs> I think I'd better be getting back to my hotel. Uh, I'll go downstairs with you. If anything you need, you call me, okay? okay. Thank you. Good night, Good night Pumpkin. Good night, sweetheart. I'll see you on my arm tomorrow. You bet. Good night. Look at all this loot. Yeah, I know. You want to open some more now? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, well. It is Grandma's wedding present. Look at that. Oh, no, Mark, it's midnight. Get out of here. Don't look at me. <laughs> she do this often? The groom is not supposed to see the bride on the wedding day. Remember, it's midnight. That is just a stupid superstition. Yeah, well, you know that, and I know that, but there is a lady in the closet who isn't so sure. Mark, go home! No! No, he's too big. Good night. Good night. It's the wedding dress I'm not supposed to see, remember? It's all of me you're not supposed to see. I'm not leaving till I get a kiss. Mark, it's bad luck. Oh, 
All right, turn away from the closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Table for two down front, please. <laughs> look who's talking. Yeah, well. <laughs> you both look very handsome. Thanks, Joe. Hi, Alex. Hi. Where's the room full of worried women? <sighs> the bedroom. Thank you. <laughs> Alex. Yeah. Shh. Mark is playing golf. Golf? Shh. <laughs> he couldn't sleep. He called me at four in the morning. I told him to go ahead. He might as well be doing something, right? He's always playing golf. But you can't tell Barbara. She doesn't want to hear anything about this. Oh, OK. OK. Well, where are you going? I'm going out to the country club. Make sure he gets to the church on time. <laughs> and watch the golf game. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Remember. Shh, shh, shh. Have fun. Wow. Why, well, thank you. And wow to you, too. Where's Mac? <laughs> oh, he went to the golf. <laughs> chapel. <laughs> the golf chapel. <laughs> I see. OK. Mark couldn't sleep, so we called Max at about no, 4 no, a.m. Uh, I don't want to know. What I don't know won't upset my daughter. Besides, he promised to quit at 10.30 no matter what. Right. Right. OK, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Mr. Mano, I gotta tell you, sometimes you can look very beautiful. Oh, thank you, Schneider. I mean, if I didn't notice it was your apartment, I wouldn't notice it was you. You're always walking around in sloppy shirts and dumpy jeans. <laughs> Schneider, sometime you're gonna have to learn when to terminate a compliment. Ah, poor nada. <laughs> <laughs> You going to the church so soon? Yeah, me and the kid, we got to set up some shots. So, okay. uh, let's go. Uh, okay. Schneider, this is going to be a lovely wedding. Oh. Right? I mean, Barbara is going traditional all the way. Beautiful wedding gown, chapel, matron of honor, flowers, bridal train, the works. So traditional. Yeah, it's nice. So, I don't want you pointing the camera at her and crawling backwards down the aisle on your belly yelling, give me some teeth. We can change that shot. <laughs> See you in the church. In the church. <laughs> See you later, Mizar. Well, uh, no, uh, Alex. Just a, a second, sweetheart. Oh, sure. I'll meet you downstairs, Schneider. You got it. Okay. Sweetheart, with everything that's been going on, you've been feeling a little neglected. <laughs> Well, now that you mention it, would it help if I threw a tantrum or something? Nut. You know, when this is all over, you and I are going to be more or less alone. <sighs> Did you grow taller this week? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple of inches. Yeah. Sure you're not the incredible shrinking woman? <laughs> Go. It's exciting. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, Mom, Barbara is really breaking the record for nerves in there. She's been to the bathroom, I think, 32 times. <laughs> I hope there's a gas station on the way to the church. <laughs> well, you're finally getting your wedding. No, not my wedding, Barbara's. No, 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 no. I've watched you running around and going crazy and putting this whole thing together and having a terrific time. My wedding was weird. <laughs> this is the kind you wanted, admit it. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Hi, Mono. Jeff. Coffee. Oh, thanks. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jeff. How's the best man holding up? Uh, a little hungover from the bachelor party. <laughs> that was two nights ago. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> Listen, I've got some terrific news. Mark is winning the golf tournament. Shh. No, I'm not talking runner-up. We're talking trophy. Isn't that great? Uh, yeah. It's terrific, as long as he plays fast. Not to worry. Mark said, no matter what, absolutely, positively, whatever is happening, he quits at 11 sharp. <laughs> 11? What happened at 10.30? The wedding is at noon. Shh. 
Don't you think that's cutting it a little close? Traffic's light on the weekend. He'll make it. <laughs> I gotta go off here. Uh, Jeff. Ms. Romana, could any man be late for a gorgeous girl like Babs? Hmm? And I can certainly see where she got her beauty. Oh, if I were just, oh, five years older, I'd... <laughs> Bye. See ya. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong, honey. That was Jeff. He came over with a message from Mark to tell you not to worry. About what? Well, uh, Mark says that he wouldn't play golf on your wedding day, even if you paid him, and that he is at home thinking about you and how much he loves you. <laughs> Mom? That's essentially it. <laughs> This is a true story. And they put me into the ambulance and they got my son and put him into the ambulance. And it was just a very scary experience. They made me feel like family. They just made me feel very comfortable and they made me feel like, don't worry. Kirk Finnegan Mester, protecting your rights. You do all this research on the perfect car, then smash it into a tree. Your insurance company raises your rates. Maybe you should have done more research on them. For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. Just one of the many features that come standard with our base policy. Call 1-888-363-3166 for a free quote today. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Well, this is the day. You know, Anne, it's not fair. I mean, the bride is supposed to be the most beautiful woman at the wedding. Believe me, she will be, but thank you. And Edward, you look pretty terrific yourself. Yeah, we must have been a very attractive couple. <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem that long ago that you looked just like that, standing at the end of the aisle. Oh, 23 years ago. Oh, oh. Yeah, we had our share of good times. Yes, we did, Ed. Some very good times. <laughs> Careful, Mom. He's a married man. Whoops. And I have it on very good authority that his wife is out of town. <laughs> is Barbara ready? Well, she's sitting on the edge of the bed, staring at her feet. She's ready. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara? Uh, -huh. uh, honey? Oh, yeah, OK, in a minute. I wonder how the groom's holding up. He's playing golf. He's playing, he's playing golf on my daughter's wedding day? Where were you on the morning of your wedding? I was getting a sex lecture from her mother. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I think I'm ready. Oh, oh. Here. I'll take Hi, that. Daddy. Hi, honey. Oh, we sure did something right. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh. <laughs> come on, you guys. OK, OK, let's get the car. OK, the I'll bag. come with you. Oh, oh, all right, come on. terrific. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll get that. You can take that? Yes, All right, Lana across her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that. Yeah, I can you can take that. this one, too? Yeah. All right, sure. sweetheart. Uh, Dad, will you grab my bag for me? Yeah, OK. Sure. OK. Uh, fine. <laughs> See you later. You OK? <laughs> sweetheart. Sweetheart. I'm not going to give you the mother's speech. You know how I feel. Mom, give me the mother's speech. <laughs> It's all filled with stuff like being happy and remembering to think before you speak, stuff like that. I thought mothers were supposed to tell their daughters about, you know, uh, conjugal duties and sex and what to expect from the carnal male. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to make them happy? Oh, yes. Darling, it was your choice to wait until everything was right for you. It is right. You both love each other very much. So it'll be easy. Believe me, I know. I was in love with your daddy for a long, long time. You and Julie were born out of that love. I'll always be grateful for that. This may be my last official opportunity for advice. I'm going to grab it. <laughs> OK. Sweetheart, remember who you are and what your needs are. Because you can make him your whole life, 
and in the process start losing yourself. And if you do that, you'll lose the marriage. Is that what happened to you? I think so. I know so. As for the rest, my love, love him. Sometimes it is going to be so difficult. But just keep right on loving him through bad moods and money worries and dirty socks. Love him. I hope Mark's mother is giving him the same advice. <laughs> <laughs> If she doesn't, I will. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you so, baby. And I'm so scared. <laughs> You're supposed to be. Oh, okay. There's Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> this is it. Yep. I wonder if Mark's nervous. I know. <laughs> I knew it. He's playing golf. Is he playing golf? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Barbara? I know. Take, take a, a deep, deep breath. breath. Right. Okay. You look wonderful. Thank you. You do. <laughs> Baby and all. Ah, uh, yes. A few people are starting to show up. Or maybe they're from another wedding. I don't recognize anybody. Yeah. Hi, honey. Hi, good luck. Annie, hi. Oh, yes. You look beautiful. Yes, I do, don't I? <laughs> hi, hi, Grandma. Mom? Yeah. Um, yes, honey. Mark's going to be late, you know. And we're all going to be standing around like a bunch of dummies, and Cynthia Ogletree's going to laugh her head off at me. Cynthia Ogletree? Sat behind me in the third grade. Said I was too ugly to ever get married. <laughs> I know. Take a deep breath. Right. Oh, honey, even if Mark is playing golf, it's only a short drive from here. Yeah, a short drive, and nine iron, and three putts. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Is Mark here yet? No. Don't shout at me, please. I'm sorry. Look, I know I'm coming on like the old-fashioned father, but I was hoping that the man who marries my daughter would at least be interested in the ceremony. He's just out working off some tension. That's what the honeymoon is for. <laughs> that is really gross. All right, I want everybody to take it easy, okay? It's only 18 minutes from here. I timed it myself, so nobody panic, okay? Who is this? Oh, that's Hal. He's an usher. Well, what do you say? Mark is still playing golf. Still playing? He's tied on the 17th. But don't, don't worry about it, Mr. Cooper. He'll get here. He's supposed to leave the golf course on the stroke of 11.15. 11.15? What happened to 11? Listen, Miss Romano, don't worry. He'll get here. I mean, we got it all figured out. You know, the worst comes to worst. He, he changes in the, in the car and skips the shower, and he's here. My daughter is not marrying a man who needs a shower. <laughs> Hey, sponge him off in the back seat. Give him a fresh pair of socks. He's already been hired. Mom, will you help me with this damn thing? Honey, we're in a chapel. It's a stupid thing. <laughs> Look who I found, the mother of the groom. Hello, Marge. Hi, Anne. Where's Mark? Isn't he here? No. This happened to a very good friend of mine, Alice. Somebody. Anyway, she fainted right on the altar, and they had to haul her up the aisle with her garter belt showing. What? Nothing, darling, nothing. Oh, hi, Mrs. Oh, Royer. Hello, Julie. Uh, Mom? Yeah. Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Mom, Max and Mark aren't even here yet. Maybe they're in the men's room? No, they aren't. I looked. <laughs> About. Nothing, honey, nothing. Oh, no, uh, just a couple of the guests are missing. Like Mark? Honey, who said anything about Mark? Mom, go find him. I want him here. Go find him. All right, sweetheart, I'll go look, but I'm sure he's exactly where he should be. Mom? Yeah? I don't trust you. Bring back a lock of his hair. <laughs> Barbara, you mustn't worry. He'll be here. Mark is never late. When he was in the fourth grade, he got every petal on his punctuality, Daisy. <laughs> Is he here yet? Well, I'm just going to ask you the same question. Um, maybe you ought to go out on the golf course and look for him. I'm huh? going to go out on that golf course. I'm going to wring his neck. <laughs> <laughs> tell you, Mr. Romano, uh, we got a saying down at the lodge. It's always dark inside the broom closet until somebody needs a mop. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Hi, Max. Oh, you're beautiful. Where's Mark? Oh, he's right there. Oh. Hey! <gasps> How'd he do in a tournament? Uh, he didn't finish. He quit in the middle of the 18th fairway. Some things are just more important. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, dear God, Ed's heading out to the golf course to try to find him. Oh, oh you better go see him. Oh, What's the matter? But I was just going out the front door, and I had on my gold silk, and I suddenly realized I would be out dressing the entire wedding party. So I went back in. Francine, and I said, yes. sit back, fold your hands, and zip your lip. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Come in. It's time, honey. Oh, I better get out there. Okay, Daddy. Yeah. See you out there. <laughs> Good luck, Barb. Thank you. Aren't you going to say anything? I don't know if I can. You're so... Oh, I love you so much. I <laughs> love you too, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, can I take a little walk with me? Don't mind if I do. Dear Barbara and Mark, this is your special day. You have come together in this house of worship to seal the covenant of your love. I welcome you and your families and your relatives to the celebration as your families are united. I ran out of tape. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, please join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Mark, take you, Barbara, to be my wife. I promise. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Barbara, take you, Mark, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. May I have the rings, please? May the Lord bless these rings, which you give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. 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 Barbara, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Mark, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark Royer.
dad okay? This has been hard on him. He and Grandpa were so close. Hey, Dad, what if he got there? <laughs> Every Father's Day card I ever gave him. And his MetLife insurance policy made me realize, what if something happens to me? I don't have a policy to help protect you. James, you have so much on your mind. That's no excuse. Like Dad always said, when family needs you, you, you find, find a, a way. way. <laughs> <laughs> I found a way. I heard about insurance that's affordable and easy to get. And of course, it's from MetLife, just like Dad's policy. There's an easy way to help protect your family from the burden of final expenses. If you're age 50 to 75, MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance can help your loved ones pay for medical bills, credit card debt, and funeral costs. Coverage amounts range from $2,000 to $25,000, and rates start at less than $10 per month. You can easily apply for coverage in a single phone call with no medical questions or exams, and you cannot be turned down for health reasons. There are a variety of payment options, and with this coverage, your rates are guaranteed never to increase, and your coverage will never decrease. If you think life insurance is too expensive or difficult to qualify for, consider MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance. It's the easy, affordable way to help protect your family. So call today, 1-800-819-6609. That's 1-800-819-6609. For adults with an advanced lung cancer called squamous non-small cell, previously treated with platinum-based chemotherapy, it's not every day something this big comes along. A chance to live longer. With Optivo, Nivolumab. Optivo is the first and only immunotherapy FDA approved based on a clinical trial demonstrating longer life for these patients. In fact, Optivo significantly increased the chance of living longer versus chemotherapy. Optivo is different. It works with your immune system. Optivo can cause your immune system to attack normal organs and tissues in your body and affect how they work. This may happen anytime during or after treatment has ended and may become serious and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you experience new or worsening cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, extreme fatigue, constipation, excessive thirst or urine, swollen ankles, loss of appetite, rash, itching, headache, confusion, hallucinations, muscle or joint pain, or flushing, as this may keep these problems from becoming more serious. These are not all the possible side effects of Updevo. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant or lung, breathing, or liver problems. A chance to live longer. Ask your doctor if Optivo is right for you. Bristol Myers Squibb thanks the patients and physicians who participated in the Optivo clinical trial. Tonight on Johnny Carson. Charles Nelson Riley is here. Very funny young comedian Gary Shanley. And the mighty Carson art players. Yeah. Johnny Carson, tonight 11 Eastern on Antenna TV.